So when you're teaching students um, to communicate orally um, effectively, giving them a real, living, large audience ups their game considerably. Obviously, like nobody wants to um, do a bad job in front of their peers, in front of a group. And obviously, that's important because it replicates the kind of talks that they're likely to be giving, say, at conferences. Um, however, it may not be wise to throw them in the deep end right away. And a lot of times in classes that do have an oral communication component, that's what happens. You know, somebody isn't necessarily an experienced speaker. And their first um, experience of it is an end of the semester presentation. And that's very, very difficult for a lot of students. So what I think has worked really well in this class is giving them that practice over and over again in a slightly safer setting where it's just a couple of people, um, where the, you know, when, you, when they give the original um, practice oral presentation, it's not even graded. So it's safe to fail. And that sense of safety and that sense of really building up stage by stage your skills is what gives them the confidence to be skilled communicators by the end of the semester. You know, by the time they finish 813, there is nobody in the class who doesn't understand what they need to do to make their presentation work. And that makes it, you know, the moment of going into the, um, you know, the conference room or the, or the classroom and standing up in front of their peers, that makes it possible. That makes it maybe even fun.